welcome to Budtown United Methodist Church on this very chilly Sunday morning. This week, um, our altar flowers are given in honor of Bobby Lyon's birthday, wishing you a special day filled with happiness and everything you enjoy. Love, Morgan, and friends. Aww. Happy birthday. Thank you, everybody. Which you'll be seeing shortly. Remember, I've been the day over. Take that. That works. I want to know who that friend is. I did not expect that one from Morgan. If Bobby, I would have thought that coming from. Not Bob. <laughs> the coin jar for the month of October will go for breast cancer awareness. Um, there will be no Bible study this week, October 12th and 13th, but will resume October 19th and 20th. The annual yard sale will be happening November 11th and 12th. More information will be coming as we get a little closer about when um, donations can be coming in. Um, the 23rd of October is going to be Pink Sunday, so find whatever pink you have and bring it, wear it in. That means you too, Ralph. <laughs> you people are tough. Man, you guys are a tough crowd today, man. Uh, there will be a short council meeting after church today, so if you guys could stay for a few moments after service for a short council meeting. And before we sing, are there any other announcements? You know, Mike, since I don't have a microphone, um, and Carol Ann isn't here, <laughs> which is sort of big, you know, but I really have to uh, give a shout out, great thanks uh, to uh, Reverend Jerry Hopkins Door for being here, uh, giving you communion last week, uh, Patty and I did take it with you, <laughs> we were watching. But uh, it's, it was very nice to see her, and she uh, thoroughly felt welcomed and loved. Uh, I was told that by Carol Ann after the service. Um, also, so since my surgery has been postponed to December 29th, we've already got Jerry on the books for January 1st. So you'll be well taken care of. And thank you, Carol Ann and Dan, for you know supporting Jerry while she was here. So I just wanted to say that special thank you. All right, we got birthdays and anniversaries this week. So we've got Bobby's turning 11, <laughs> <laughs> Everett's turning 13. <laughs> 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 And Emma and Ray Sweet's anniversary is on the 10th. Yeah, but I'm the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> could please join in the opening chorus, Morning Has Broken, on page 145, and please stand if you'd wish. Oh. 
please join me in the call to worship. Sing God's praises. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. We have walked through fire and water with heavy burdens on our backs. But God has led us into a spacious place to plant gardens of faith. Rejoice in the Lord. Build houses of joy and shout glory to our God. Let us worship in gratitude and praise. Please turn to page 314 in your hymnal for In the Garden, page 314. join me in the opening prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Master Gardener, you revive us when our bodies grow weak and when our spirits faint within us. Though we may be bound by our worries, your word is not chained. Help us build houses of joy and plant gardens of faith as we pray for the welfare of our communities. Help us bloom where we are planted, that your harvest and hope and love may be bountiful. In gratitude for your blessings, we pray. Amen. 
please turn to page 829 for our act of praise, which is Psalms 106, verses 1 through 12. Page 829. <clears throat> praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord who is good, whose steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty doings of the Lord or show forth all God's praise? Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Help me when you deliver them. That I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. That I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation that I have made glory with your heritage. Both we and our forebears have sinned. We have committed iniquity, and we have done wickedly. Our forebears, when they were in Egypt, did not consider your wonderful works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but rebelled against the Most High at the Red Sea. God saved them for the sake of God rebuked the Red Sea, and it became dry, and led them through the deep as through a desert. So God saved them from the hand of the foe, and delivered them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their adversaries. Not one of them was left. And then they believed God's words. They sang God's praise. Today's epistle lesson is from 2 Timothy 2, verses 8 through 15. It can be found in the New Testament on page 212 of your Pew Bible. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, but he cannot disown himself. Dealing with false teach teachers. Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them, warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. God bless the reading of his word.
again. Good morning. <laughs> Today's gospel lesson is from Luke 17, 11 through 19. The lesson can be found in the New Testament on page 80 of your pew Bible. Please stand if you wish. Jesus heals 10 men with leprosy. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please turn to page 364 in your hymnals, and we will sing Because He Lives. Page 364.
got up choked up too. You may be seated. You thought because we missed last week we weren't going to do something like that. Yeah. We heard you. This is for Paul. Okay. Well, this is for everyone. That's what that one was. Um, imagine God has voicemail. Just like we get when we call an insurance company <laughs> or doctor's office or, you know, you get the prompts, okay? Thank you for calling heaven. I am sorry all of our angels and saints are busy helping other sinners right now. However, your prayer is important to us. And we will answer it in the order it was received. Please stay on the line. If you would like to speak to God, press 1. Jesus, press 2. The Holy Spirit, press 3. If you would like to hear King David sing a psalm while you are holding, press 4. To find a loved one who has been assigned to heaven, press 5. Then enter his or her social security number followed by the pound sign... <laughs> If you get a negative response, please hang up and try area code 666 <laughs> for reservations in heaven. Please enter John 316 to answer for answers to nagging questions about dinosaurs, the age of the earth, life on other planets and where Noah's Ark is. Please wait until you arrive. If you are calling after hours and need emergency assistance, please contact your local pastor. Hey, there you go. So, good thing God doesn't have voicemail. FaceTime. FaceTime, yes, God has FaceTime. Uh, so, in any event, um, we heard in the, in the gospel lesson, and, and, and this stirred up, this stirred up something, okay? Um, you know, you go to the grocery store or you go to the Wawa, because that's everybody goes there, okay? And somebody holds the door for you. Hey, thank you. Don't walk in front of them in the parking lot because you get run over. But, um, but you thank them. I know sometimes I fail to say thank you uh, to Patty, you know, when she's turning around and placing one of these meals on the diet plan in front of me. <laughs> I, 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 I fail to say thank you. Um, yesterday at the rummage sale, I picked up two cupcakes. I know. Oh, boy. You're in trouble, man. Here goes your... No, actually, I turned around and said, this one's for Patty, and then this one's for Patty. So, there are two pumpkin cupcakes for my pumpkin. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't get to give her a, a, a birthday cake, so that, that'll, that'll have to do. You have to blow on one of the cupcakes anyway. Pretend it's got a candle. <laughs> um, so, we failed to say thank you. <clears throat> Now, in that thought, in that process, how often has God done something for us in our lives, and yet we have failed to say thank you? All of us are guilty of that one. Now, in the gospel lesson, we heard Jesus healed 10 lepers, cleansed them. They were healed. Only one returned to say thank you. 
what happened to the other nine. Hey, they went off with their lives and had a great time. I'm healed. Look at this. Well, who healed you? Ah, some guy. Some Jewish rabbi healed me. Wait a minute. You're a Samaritan. How does this happen? Because as we've said many times, the Jews and the Samaritans hated each other. They were enemies. They wouldn't even be seen speaking with each other. But Jesus puts all feelings aside and heals total strangers. And only one was thought enough to come back and say, thank you. So we have had so many good things happen in our lives, and God has been the forefront of it. We pray on Sunday mornings for people, and we have healing. And yet, we forget to thank God. We assume that it's going to take place. We know God, we pray to you, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna help us through. You're gonna, you're gonna get us out of this out of this pickle. Yet, where's our thanks? So we have to remember that when we go to the restaurant, we sit down at the table, the waitress or waiter comes over, serves us the food. Yeah, I know you're doing your job, but thank you. Thank you anyway. They don't, they don't usually hear that. What do they usually hear? Oh, my potatoes are cold. There's a lump in my mashed potatoes. And I would say that. I know you would. That's why I had to bring that one up, you know? There is... <laughs> How dare there be a lump in my mashed potatoes? Wait a minute. You told me the applesauce was smooth. I want to roll with the cow now. <laughs> I had a break, so this is what I expected. Yes, exactly. I, I, yeah, I've been saving it up, okay? I've been saving it up. But, but, so that's what they hear. They don't hear, thank you. It's a shame. Patty and I, we go out, and we usually, especially Patty, she's always the bubbly one anyway, you know? I'm sitting there at the restaurant, and it's like, okay. What am I going to eat? Mm, okay. Well, I can't have can that, I and I can't have that, can and I can't I have eat? that. What can I eat? <laughs> yeah, what can I eat, right? I can have the salad. Uh, you know, I can wiggle my nose, and my ears are growing long. You know? I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like hopping around the backyard, you know? Um, but Patty always turns around, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. You know? The woman, the, the waitress brings an extra napkin. Thank you. And then Patty looks at me. I like her. She's friendly. She's getting a big tip. Hun, where is our wallet? But the part that is missing is how did the waitress get, or the waiter, get what they were bringing to serve us? I remember 
growing up, there was a lady that lived across the street, and she was a wonderful, wonderful woman. She really was, you know. And she used to come over every day to visit my mother. And one day, she said, you know, it's been raining so much. I wish, it, I wish we would never get rain again. I'm so tired of seeing this rain. And my father said, well, well Helen, if it didn't rain anymore, where would we get our food? Well, that's easy. You go to the Acme and you buy it in a can. That was her, that was her answer. And my father says, how do you think those green beans get in the can? They grow them that way? You know, so she never contemplated and, and just, yeah, it's convenience. We go to the store and buy the can. God produced those Green beans, just using them as an example, because that's all my diet. <sighs> and broccoli. Yeah. And cauliflower. They even had the nerve to put Brussels sprouts on that. No, they, 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 they don't even see the inside of our house. <laughs> don't worry, Betty, we're not stinking up the kitchen with Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Yeah. I can't have M and M's. <laughs> so I, okay, I'll think of them that way. Eat the W's. Eat the W's. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, but we don't thank God for what's inside that can. We don't. It's just oblivious. It just shows up that way. You know? God works miracles. Boom, there you go. There's a can of beans. No, it doesn't happen that way. So we have to remember to thank God for everything that we have that is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. See, we have to remember that. Everything good comes from God. So let us remember to thank God for those things that we take for granted. The things that we expect. And uh, I do have to do a shout out. Speaking of thanking God, because we had someone that delivered us some delicious cucumbers over the summer. The, 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 the cucumber fairies back there. But as they would come to the door with the cucumbers, God has been good to us. So we wanted to share his gift. Thank you, and thank you for reminding us that we need to thank God for all the little miracles that happen, including the abundance of cucumbers and zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> Zucchini's on the diet, too. <laughs> so let us go now to our Lord in prayer, and we can thank God for all that he has given us and all that he does for us. Um, you'll, you'll notice that Trish had to leave us. Um, and we thank God that she has the talent to be able to share her talent. Um, Browns Mills Methodist Church uh, it does, does not have an accompanist. So she comes and gets us started here and then goes over 
and takes care of their service until they can find an accompanist. Not every Sunday, but you know, quite often. So we thank God for her ability to be able to share her talents. Uh, and we also thank God that Betty knows how to push the button on this thing and give us songs to play at the end of, the, of our service. You know? So, um, yes. Anyone else that would like to have something lifted up in prayer? Yeah. Emma Jane. Yeah, Emma Jane. Uh, she has bronchitis, and we're kind of hoping that... Uh, She'll get laryngitis with the cough. No. <laughs> if she's watching, Jane, we love you. You know that, and I know she's going to get me back for that. But that's, that, but that's okay. That's what it's. Hey, you know what? We're live. We're alive. We're alive. And uh, God gave us a sense of humor, also. Sometimes it's twisted and demented, but he gave us a sense of humor. So it's, glad, it's, it's good to be able to share that. Anyone else? Yeah. I've got pen in prayer. We're trying to get her medicine regulated. That's why she hasn't been around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Judy. Pray for my son David. He's dealing with a uh, concussion right now. Oh. It's not fun for him. No. No, not at all. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, Dan. Friends, David and Sally over in Pennsylvania. David has just been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Oh. And it came on quickly and severely. The parents were going. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a horrible, horrible disease. And you don't have much to look forward to. Wish there was a way, a cure, that they could just give us a needle or a pill and, and cure. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and 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 the shameful thing is, is this disease steals the mind, steals the memory. Yeah, yeah. I lived with it with my grandmother. Yeah. Equally as tough to those their loved ones that have to witness it. Yes. My grandfather was one of the nicest, most religious men I've ever met in my life, and he died. No. It's, it's terrible. It's a terrible disease. It is. It is. And that's exactly what it is, though. It's a disease. Um, you know, we're faced every day. We see things every day. Um, and that disease, there's just no real hope for. Not yet. Not yet. They're still working on it, but not yet. But in time, I'm sure. Might not be in our time, but in time. God's time. Yep. God's time. Everything is in God's time. We're uh, sometimes impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I'll double hand it because I <laughs> I've had to say that many, many times lately. Yes. Yes. But nobody said it was easy though. No. And I, I don't say no. it's easy. I yeah. just said, you know, folks, God's time. God's got us. Um, it's in God's time, God's got us. I wish he'd hurry up and make up his mind what he's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> here's my here's my impatience, but yeah. Yeah, buddy. Prayers for Bill, his back. He's got yeah. herniated discs. Mm. Oh, the joys are getting old. Yeah. Entering the 
golden years. The rusty years. Yeah, I know. The rusty years. That's what works better. <laughs> the gold's tarnished. <laughs> what do you got to do? Yeah, yeah. Judy, yeah. Yeah, um, prayers for my brother in law, Irvin. Um, he's in the because of that accident that they had coming mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. And um, they found out that he has cancer of the stomach. Yeah. So they don't know right now how far gone it is and mm -hmm. probably not for another week or two before they find out. Okay. Yeah. And it, so we'll pray for him. Carol, get down, down there, okay? Carol is fine. Carol is doing great, she said. Good, good, she just, good. Okay. Okay. When you talk to her, tell her, you know, she missed Sunday service. For her, she wasn't here. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> and that's all right. Last yeah, Sunday was her birthday, and everybody wished her a happy birthday. Oh, good. good. So good. I, I had the yeah. phone, and I went around, and everybody wished her a happy birthday. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. That's good. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to God for waking us all up this morning. Have yes. The gift. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, you, uh, oh, I'm awake. I made it through another night, I think. Let me try to get my foot out of bed to see. Oh, it's cold. Forget about that. <laughs> God, I'm alive. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because you are. Well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> just, just a tad. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I get my fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. The arthritis is kicking in. I know. Golden years. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, then, let's go to our Lord in prayer. God, you do so much for us. So much that we take for granted what it is you are doing. We expect it. We know that you're going to be there for us no matter what, and you love us unconditionally. But we forget to thank you. Thank you for the small things in our lives. We, we just, again, take everything as if we deserve it. We don't deserve your love and your care. We don't deserve the sacrifices, the healings, the salvation that you give us through your Son. We don't deserve that, oh God. Yet, you still give it to us. We receive it with open arms. So God, we thank you. We thank you for all that you do for us. For, we thank you for every day and we thank you for the promise of us to be with you when our days here are done. 
and our mission has been completed. As Christians, we look forward to that day. As humankind, we fear it. But God, you know our fears long before we even do. So God, we thank you for your guidance. We ask that you come and speak to us with your voice that we can follow your teachings and be with you in glory. Now God, we have petition that we come to you with and we thank you that you will be answering our prayers. We thank you for your healing touch on Emma Jane. We just ask that you continue to heal her, rid her of this bronchitis so that she can be back with us. She is in love and full of your spirit, oh God. We just ask that you heal her and bring her back quickly. God, we ask you to be with Penny and Dave and the family as they try to adjust Penny's medication so that she can feel better and that she can be with us again also. We ask you to heal Bill so that he can feel better, he can feel stronger, and he can be back where he loves to be in your house with all of us. We ask you to be with David as he suffers from a concussion. May you help him through this pain and this injury. And may you help him, help the doctors to help him and to heal him. We ask you, O oh God, to be with Dave and Sally as Dave has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. We just ask that you be with him, keep him comfortable, and be with Sally. Keep her strong so that she can deal with this pain that she will be going through. It's a horrible, horrible disease, oh God. But we know that you will be there to comfort and console all of them around, her, around him. We ask you to be with Irvin as he has just been diagnosed with stomach cancer. May you reach out touch him, keep him comfortable, and cure him. We ask you to be with all of those who are not able to be with us today. For whatever reason, they can't be here. That we still reach our love out to them. And we hope that they'll all come back and be with us in this community, this communion of people. And God, we thank you for every day. We thank you for waking us up this morning, bringing us out of the nice warm bed and the nice cold air. But it just shows you, oh God, it shows us that we are still alive. And then we also thank you, oh God, for the love that you have poured into us, this, this, this people of yours, this congregation. As we can go and celebrate, give birthday cards, and sing happy birthday and happy anniversary and to those that are with us, 
And we thank you for the warmth and the love that this people, your people, your children, show each other. So God, remind us as we go through our week and go through our days to stop. Think about your miracles, your mercy towards us and remind us, yes, to say thank you. It's not that hard to do. But God, we thank you for the lessons that you give us. And we thank you for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave us these words to say when we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as a way to give thanks to God, it's always a joyful thing to give back some of the gifts that he gives us. So I'll ask the ushers if they would please come forward and assist us with today's tithes and offerings. God bless these gifts, bless the givers. Amen. Amen. As we give you thanks, we ask you to accept these gifts. May they be used to strengthen your kingdom here on earth. May we use it to spread your word and the good news to the world that needs to hear it. All honor and glory is yours, O merciful Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing if you wish and open the faith we sing to 2279. 2279.
<laughs> now, if the trees in the field clap their hands, you know they're dropping leaves all over your yard. So <laughs> thank God for the leaf time. Yeah, thank God for the rape committee. Anyway. So our service here today has ended. But our service in the world doesn't end. Go into the world, share his light, share his love, share his peace, and share that thanks, and thanks be to God. Go in peace. Amen. Amen. meeting folks please